All right, guys, I'm going to show you exactly how to build an AI agent in under 10 minutes. Now, this is going to be so easy that even a 12 year old can do it. And there's a lot of information out there, but this video is going to get you start to finish your first AI agent or your next and show you exactly how to build them moving forward. Now, I want to take you through a quick history of AI agents and standard automation. Now, standard automation always starts with an input. Okay. And that is going to do an API call to some type of data exchange. Think Zapier. Here, right. And the whole goal of this is to take information from one application and give it to another application without having to write code yourself. So we can then select data right here, and then we can send it over to the data out, but we can only assign data that we had and we can give right now. That's where AI agents come in because we still have an input over here on the left hand side, but that is going to go into an AI agent. And the AI agent has really three things. We have the brain, which is the LLM. We have the tool, which is the hand. And then we have the prompt, which is the spoken word over here, right? Um, now, the AI agent is intelligent. It can access the brain and it has memory, right? So we can do all kinds of different things. We can't, we don't just send data, but we can manipulate data. We can read data. We can decide what to do with it and then we can output it. So let's hop in. I'm going to show you exactly how to build this AI agent. So we're going to go to N8N. If you don't have an account, go ahead and create an account. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do is click the plus icon right here. Now we're going to select on chat message and we aren't going to click anything else. We're just going to click out of that. And then we are going to hit the plus icon again. Okay? We're going to click advanced AI and we're going to select AI agent. Now you're going to see this screen again, just click out of it and you will see this next screen. <clears throat> now you can see the three nodes right here. Remember chat model equals brain memory. Uh, is we didn't talk about, but that's it, it kind of related to the brain. You can ignore that for now. We have the tool, which is the hands, and then we have the prompt, which is going to be inside of the AI agent. So when we click on the chat model, we want to select open AI, and then you are going to see something different than mine. See, I already have an account created. You guys don't. So the first thing we want to do, if you do not have a chat GPT developer account is go to playground dot openai.com and create an account. It's super simple and attach a credit card. Now, once you have your developer account, you're going to click here in the top right hand corner on settings. You're going to click on API keys, and then you're going to create a new API key. So create new API key, YouTube. Okay. And we're going to select uh, default project, create secret key, and then we're going to click copy and we're going to come right back to our workbook. We're going to click create new credential. We're going to pop that inside of there. Okay. Boom. Super, super easy. Now we have a new API key connected and our chat model is ready. Next thing is going to be memory. All we have to do for this one is click window buffer memory and click out of it. Nothing else we need to do to take action on that right now. Uh, so now we have our brain set up for our actual AI agent. Next up is going to be the tool. So what kind of tool do we want it to access? In this situation, we're going to do a calendar review. So we're going to review what is on my calendar in the next 24 hours, and then we're going to spit it out uh, into an email. So I get a daily update on my email. Uh, and all we're going to do is type in Gmail right here. Now, this is, we want to make sure that we have the Gmail account connected. So just create your new credential. If you don't have one, uh, you just sign in with your Google account and you're all set. Next up is that we want to change this information here. So um, source uh, is going to be um, resource message operation. Now we want to get many. Okay. So we're going to get the events from our actual calendar. Uh, and then we can do return all, right? And that is pretty much all we need to do. So boom. And then what we want to do next is open up our AI agent and we need to change something in here, which means we click on add option and we click system message. So we actually have to tell the AI what it is supposed to do. Okay. And this is different than chatting with ChatGPT because open AI tells the agent or the AI what to do. And then you prompt it with a user message. Okay. In this situation, we are the ones writing the actual system prompt. So what I want you to do is open up ChatGPT. Um, before you do, though, we want to uh, add one more node here, and we're going to do Gmail. Um, so we're going to do this. And I just realized I added the wrong node here, guys. Let me. Uh, so we want to go to Google Calendar. Um, there we go. Boom. And resource event, we want to do get mini. Okay. Uh, and then you can see we're getting from now and then one week into the future. 
So that is good to go. And then we want to actually add the Gmail uh, node here because we're going to send the email. Um, that is my bad. I mixed those two up. So we're going to click send a message, uh, message, send, um, and we're good to go. Uh, we're going to send to revpilot.co, Jordan at revpilot.co. Subject is going to be daily update dash meetings. And then message will pop in there in a moment. Okay. Now to get our actual prompt, we should screenshot this. Okay. And we're just going to screenshot this. And then we're going to come over here to chat GPT. And we're going to drop the screenshot into chat GPT. And then we're going to say, Hey, I am creating an NAN agent that checks my Google calendar for any upcoming events in the next 24 hours, then sends an email to my personal Gmail with a executive report of what is upcoming. It should clearly state the event name, any attendees, and any other pertinent information. I should know. Okay. And then uh, please make sure this system prompt is written in Markdown. Okay. Markdown is going to allow the agent to read this much more easily um, versus like text or spoken rich text, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, the <clears throat> system prompt should include a clear. SOP, overview, role, and outcome, okay? Please also make sure this is formatted um, with bullets or other organizational format formats and um, formats for Google um, or Gmail. Okay. So that's all we're going to do. Now, why I'm showing you this is because you do not need to know how to write Markdown. You just need to be able to prompt ChatGPT to write the prompt for you. You only need to do this once you put it in your agent and you're good to go. And as you can see, boom, it's going to do outcome, standard operating procedure, HTML, how it should actually generate uh, everything else. Right. So we're going to copy this. We're going to come back to N8N. We're going to open up our agent. We're going to paste that into our system prompt and we're good to go there. Okay, so we're going to click out of that and then we want to select our calendar here. So we're going to do Jordan at Rough Pilot. So that is all good. And then we need to add the message. I'm going to show you how to add the message in a second. So we're pretty much good to test. We're going to click on chat right here and we're going to say, hello, please pull my um, daily calendar report. Okay, boom, that's going to trigger that. As soon as that triggers that, we can play this. Right. And this is going to run through all of those. So you can see that's all successful. It's thinking right. And it's going to provide an output from this agent. And that is what we're going to use to complete this step. OK, so when we open this up and it's taking a little longer than normal. There we go. Perfect. So the message, we're just going to grab the message and we're going to put the message right into there. OK, um, so super, super straightforward. Um, and then one thing you can do, if you don't want it to, uh, I'll show you, it's going to say append. Um, this message was sent by N8N. If you want to turn that off, just toggle this guy right there. Uh, and then we're good to go. And then we're going to test this step. And boom, there we go. We have an email sent. So let's go take a look at what this uh, actually looks like. Um, <clears throat> and there we go. Look how simple that is. Upcoming events, next 24 hours. It has all of my events, what is actually going on, and we're good to go. All right. So hopefully this video demonstrates how simple building an AI agent can be. Now, the best part is, is you can add as many tools as you want in here. You can call other workflows. You can customize your prompt to do whatever you want. You can change your triggers. So if this video was helpful, um, go build your first agent and then let us know how it went. Let us know where you got stuck and we can create some other videos to make sure that uh, we are being as creative as possible and we're creating as many agents as possible and we're getting these tools in the hands of the daily user. Cheers.